What's going on guys? I'm the Walrus Jedi, and as you've seen in the intro, it is the Star Wars Alien Species series. And today we've got the the finale of Season 1, Wookiees. So if you like this series of Star Wars Aliens, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more in the future for Season 2, which will be the first episode will be Twi'leks, so uh, that'll debut in January. All right, without further ado, let's learn about Kashyyyk and the Wookiees. Kashyyyk. The Wookiee homeworld of Kashyyyk is a vertiginous world of kilometers high treetops and bottomless depths. The natural beauty of Wookiee settlements leads some to form assumptions about their technological primitivism. But Wookiees are engineers at heart and produce some of the finest machinery in the galaxy. Kashyyyk's continents are ringed by open beaches, but less than a kilometer inland, the terrain becomes impassable. Here, rosher trees take root, and their columnar trunks and snaky branches provide support for horizontally layered ecosystems. Beginning at the treetops, the canopy becomes more dangerous the deeper one penetrates. The middle levels are prowled by katarns and web weavers, and in the thick of Kashyyyk's old growth, the surface is as black as a cave. Only the phosphorescent glow of predators and prey illuminates this shadow forest. Wookiees live in high-level tree cities and in breach-front coastal settlements. Rukoro is the planet's capital. The Kiana is high-tech hub, and Kashirho is the center of hyperspace mapping. Wookiees are on par with the Duros, Given, and Celestins for their expertise in hyperspatial theory, with the thinkers of the Klatuvak Guild among the most brilliant practitioners of the art. Kashyyyk counted itself a member of the Rakatan Infinite Empire, circa 30,000 BBY, and Rakatan terraforming is believed to have contributed to Kashyyyk's titanic flora. The Wookiees had developed an advanced tribal government by... 4,020 BBY, when the Zerka Corporation laid claim to the planet and renamed it Adean. The Wookiee uprising in 3956 BBY unseated Zerka, paving the way for the species' integration into galactic society. Wookiees planted their flag on the moons of Alaris while representing the Mitaranor sector in the Senate and carried on a blood feud with the lizard-like Trandoshans who inhabited a neighboring planet. In 19 BBY, one of the final battles of the Clone Wars took place at Kashiro, where Master Yoda led an army of clone troopers and Wookiee warriors to victory over a droid landing force. After the establishment of the Empire, Kashyyyk became a slave world. Imperial occupiers pressed its citizens into construction gangs, and the Trandoshans received special dispensation to track down escaped laborers. Kashyyyk endured until 5 ABY when the New Republic chased off the last Imperial holdouts. The planet became a key member of the New Republic and Galactic Federation of Free Alliances. It slipped through the Yuzon Vong War unscathed and blossomed after that, but, but was the site of a showdown during the Karelia Galactic Alliance War, with Jason Solo setting vast swaths of the planet ablaze. Basic information on the planet. Its uh, terrain comprises of forests, seas, and coastline. It has a diameter of 12,765 kilometers. Length of day is 26 standard hours, and their year is 381 local days. It has a population of 45 million. The sentient species of this planet is Wookiees, and it is 100% Wookiees that live here. The, their language is Shri Wook and their government is a Wookiee council. Exports are electronic components and natural resources, and imports are processed metals and medicines. Wookiees. Wookiees are intelligent, arboreal sentients from the jungle world of Kashyyyk, possessing many natural strengths and abilities from the day they are born. Wookiees are known to be one of the most physically strong sentient species in the galaxy. They are also incredibly bright, with an extraordinary talent for repairing and adapting machines and technology. Tall, hairy primates, Wookiees possess varying eye colors and fur that ranges in shades from white to light brown and black. Their fur is often a blend of different tones. They have retractable claws on their feet and hands. 
which they use almost exclusively for climbing. In their culture, employing their claws in hand-to-hand -hand combat is forbidden and is considered dishonorable or even insane behavior. Wookiees are especially known for their loyalty and dedication to honor, as well as their capacity for great kindness, sharp wit, and friendship. They are devoted to friends and family, and particularly to those whom they owe a life debt. In the life debt tradition, which is ironically similar to the tradition of their hated nemesis, the reptilian Trandoshans, Wookiees pledge their existence and servitude to an individual who has saved their life, or who has given them another similarly intense cause for loyalty. Perhaps the best example in recorded history of the depth of a life debt is that of the one owed to Han Solo by the Wookiee warrior and Clone Wars veteran Chewbacca. While serving in the Imperial Navy, a young Han Solo aided in Chewbacca's escape from slavery, leading to his discharge from the Navy. Chewbacca pledged him a life debt, the two became best friends, and over the decades, one was rarely seen without the other, with Chewbacca coming to Solo's rescue more than once. In an act of ultimate sacrifice, Chewbacca gave his life during an early strike by the Yuzong Vong to save Han and Leia Organa, Solo's son, Anakin. Wookiees are also known for having short tempers, especially when honor is at stake, and can fly into berserker rages if they, their families, or their honor families, those with whom they share a life debt, are threatened. They have a reputation for hostility and have been known to smash objects and beings when angered. Theirs is a cultured society, though, and they exist in harmony with the environment of their world, living in well-developed cities on the seventh level of vegetation on Kashyyyk, high in the Rosher trees. Wookiee cities and homes demonstrate a deep appreciation for their environment. Constructed of native woods with sweeping, gentle lines, the Wookiee's structures seek to bring the outside inside. Lift cars held by unbreakable Kashi vines carry Wookiees from one level to the next, although they although they can also climb up or down if they are so inclined. Though Wookiees wander the many upper levels of their planet, they rarely ever venture any lower than the fourth, given the many dangers the lower levels hold. Wookiees believe there are night crawlers that feast on the blood and spirits of their victims in the darkness of the bottom world, and that the spirits of those who did not honor their life debts reside there, waiting to trap and kill the unsuspecting. Indeed, no Wookiee who has gone to the lowest levels has ever returned. This region of Kashyyyk has yet to be a subject of scientific exploration. Kashyyyk does have several oceans, the beaches of which are the only areas on the planet where the soil is visible and accessible. When Wookiees reach adulthood, they leave their families to explore the lower levels of the forests, particularly to hunt the dangerous quillerats that live just under the fifth level. These small brownish-green creatures, standing only half a meter tall, have long needle-sharp quills covering their bodies and can hurl these quills with deadly accuracy. Hunting on the lower levels represents a rite of passage for Wookiee adolescents known as the Hirteak and is a long-standing and important tradition in Kashyyyk society. The Hirteak may be attempted alone with an older relative or with friends. For a successful passage, the adolescent seeking adult standing must return with physical proof of bravery, a trophy that may be displayed or worn. Following a successful return from the lower levels, a newly recognized adult Wookiee will often take on a new, more mature name. Under certain circumstances, Hirteak may also take place in other forms, sometimes even off-planet, as long as sufficient courage is demonstrated. Feats of courage extend to Wookiee courtship rituals as well. Male Wookiees will hunt Quillerats as an offering that they present when they propose marriage to a female. They must, however, catch the Quillerat barehanded and kill it without using a weapon. If the female Wookiee accepts the proposal, she will show her approval by biting into the creature's soft underbelly. When they marry, Wookiees become mates for life. Though Wookiees reside in a very natural environment, they are a mechanically advanced species, and a few thousand standard years before the Battle of Yavin, they developed much of their own technology, constructing huge cities in their trees of their homeworld. They also developed high-tech weapons and tools unique to their own culture. 
the most famous of which is the bowcaster, or laser crossbow. Even the design of Wookiee weaponry captures their love of nature, often curved and with housings made of wood. Weapons such as the Wookiee bowcaster can sometimes be mistaken for musical instruments by the uninitiated. They prefer, however, to use simple homemade implements for accomplishing everyday tasks. Because Wookiees are very protective of their natural home, they discouraged tourism to their world even as they themselves took to the stars. This greatly upset their Trandoshan neighbors, who had come to depend on tourism as a means of boosting their economy. This, combined with the Trandoshan's historical desire to colonize, soon drove the two peoples into a war that was eventually resolved by the Old Republic Senate. Their Trandoshan enemies, however, were not impressed and bided their time to enact vengeance. With the emergence of imperial rule, the Trandoshans suggested that the Empire use the powerful primate people as slave labor. The Clone Wars had barely ended before the Empire quickly overwhelmed the Wookiees, taking them to work in camps located throughout the galaxy. The prisoners helped, under duress, to build the Death Stars, but the Wookiees did not give in easily, and even those remaining on their home planet maintained an undercurrent of rebellion. The Empire made it virtually impossible for those Wookiees to leave their world and enlisted Trandoshan hunters to capture any Wookiees who did manage to escape. For this reason, there remains quite a bit of animosity between the Wookiees and their Trandoshan neighbors. Wookiees communicate via a system of grunts, growls, snuffles, barks, and roars, as the structure of their vocal cords and voice boxes won't allow them to speak basic. For this same reason, humans find their language difficult to reproduce. Their primary dialect, used for trading and dealing with outsiders, is known as Shriwook, or Tongue of the Tree People. There are various dialects, such as Zazik, spoken by Wookiees indigenous to the Wartaki Islands. Because the Imperials thought all Wookiees were alike, they did not discover these other dialects, and when the Wookiees were enslaved, they often used Zazik for delivering secret information to members of their residents. They often used Zazik for delivering secret information to members of their resistance movement. Today, Wookiees are an active member species of the Galactic Alliance. Now free of Trandoshan and Imperial oppression, they are open to share their innovative talents with the rest of the Galactic community. And obviously, a couple of famous individuals of the Wookiee species are Chewbacca, Tarful, there are others, but... And we first see Wookiees in uh, A New Hope. Well, that is some uh, information on Kashyyyk and the Wookiees that live there. So let me know if you uh, learned anything new about this very famous species in the comment section down below. That is, uh, this is the final episode of season one. And as I said earlier, come January, uh, season two will start with Twi'lek, so. But you are also more than welcome to put in the comment section down below uh, suggestions for species to be covered in season two, and I can make a, a list if you would like, and uh, eventually get them uh, covered, so yeah. And right now on the screen there's a couple of other species videos that you can browse at your leisure if you would like, and uh, yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and until next time. Thanks.